Good morning! I washed my tack in the washing machine last night because today is the day we pack the lorry to go to, hopefully, if we pass the vet, we get out on course, Rue's first novice qualifier. I'm super excited um, and I'm going to take you along kind of for the packing process um, this week just to kind of see what I pack, see what all the gear is, how much stuff an endurance rider has to take. First thing on the list to do is to clean my tack and re-fluff my fluffy bits. <laughs> so Rue has the Glazen Gordon gas sleeve. It's like the fluffiest, most lovely thing in the world. It makes such a difference to kind of his comfort. Then he's got the Griffin Numed half numbness for his reactor panel. So those are the two things I have to re-fluff. Then use the Steuben neoprene gas sleeve that's what the, the fluffy sleeve will go over. Um, and then my reactor panel saddle and free jump stirrup. So let's get cleaning. just gonna let this dry now before I buff it in so while that dries it is time to put together all the feed and the haylage and stuff that Rue will need to eat um, whilst he's away so to the barn so first off because it's only a one night stay and a 40k ride I don't actually have that much feed to pack um, so I'm gonna start with this little bucket um, an old science supplements bucket and I'm gonna fill it with um, the Bailey's performance balancer. That's what Rue is mainly on at the moment. So we'll give him enough for three feeds and a little bit extra because, you know, he's doing some hard work. Um, and this is what I'm going to put his Ease and XL mix in um, because that is what he has before um, he does any exercise. And then last but not least, I have the Ease and Excel cubes, um, and that goes in the crew car feed. Um, this is what he has post-dried as well, um, not because for any particular reason that Ease and Excel cubes and mix are different, but I just want him to have both in his system all the time, because when we get up to the longer distances and a horse could be pickier, sometimes cubes are more palatable than mix, and something a little bit different might encourage them to eat. So start now with giving him a, a variation also i really like that you can put water in this and it makes like a really mushy mashy hydrating energy giving mix as well so that's why we use the cubes in the crew car feed also got new buckets which i'm very excited about it's their first run we'll test them out next up we're gonna pack a couple of bales of haylage. I've been giving him a slice of this every day um, whilst he's been turned out and bringing him into the stable for a couple of hours as well because he'll be stable tonight just to get his gut used to it, make sure that we're not making any huge diet changes going into a ride. Um, 
he's not gonna need two, but I like to overpack on things like that just in case, unless in case he gets injured, he needs to stay another night, um, we break down and he needs more food. I mean, two is excess, but in they go. <laughs> I like to use slightly larger hold hay nets when we're going away for competition. I don't want eating to be difficult or it to be hard for them to take any haylage out. So we do one large whole hay net and then I put a slice in a gorilla tub as well so that they can eat off the floor and a hay net if they want. I tend to find if I just put it on the floor and there's lots of stuff going on outside the stable, they don't eat as much because they've got to put their head in, put their head down so they can't see and then come back out onto the stable door. Whereas if I tie a hay net next to the stable door, then I know they're still going from one side and pulling out and things, but um, I just find that they, they get a bit less stressy. They, they fling their head around a little bit less. So go for both options and then we're covered. <laughs> Filling those hay nets has really warmed me up. Okay, so now I'm going to do the crew car waters. I'm actually only doing the drinking water for the crew car because um, I know the Red Dragon venue really well. It's got lots of um, really good water taps. Joe, there's, there's plenty of them as well, so there's never really a backup for filling your crew stuff. So to save little Connie the lorry um, and to save a bit of weight, I'm gonna fill up all the crew gear when we get there. So all my water containers, my slosh bottles, all of those kind of things um, are already packed in the lorry, but empty. But now I'm gonna pack the horse water. Um, I do this because I want the horse to be drinking the water he's used to. And also because I like the sugar beet water to have like overnight to soak and things. So let's fill these up. Ready. last night for the humans. So first up, we've got a big bag of whoa, different liquids. Um, so we've got our reusable water bottles. We've got a few of them full of water. I, this is like my dirty pleasure secret. Um, I love Rubicon sparkling water. There's some cans of pop and stuff just to keep the crew going. Um, and my favorite out on course ride drink, LucasAid Sport. Actually, that's a lie. This is my second favorite. I prefer the LucasAid Light. Um, however, more calories um, is better. So I don't go for the light, unless it's like the day before and I know I'm eating loads of calories anyway, so I just want it for the electrolyte. But we go for this on ride day. So hydration people. When buying for the crew food, I always get stuff that's like picky that you can like just shove in your mouth and eat super quick. Um, because as you might have seen when um, we went to Crew Kate, if you haven't seen that vlog, go check it out because I went to Crew. My um, ex team GBR teammate friend and it is go, go, go all the time. So for the crew, we have some crisps, the essentials, dad's favorite tang plastics, some squashy drumsticks, um, busy Rubicon because you can never have too much of a Rubicon obsession. Bananas for me. Then we've got flapjacks for me. Some crunchy Nature Valley stuff, you know, just in case. Then we've got a selection of slices and pasties. Jaffa, cake, Jaffa cakes for me out on course. And then we've got like picnic food. So I've got savory eggs, sausage rolls, southern fried chicken straws and chicken poppers. I'm sorry, mum, I completely forgot that you're trying to be more veggie than a meat eater. So in this, you've got sweets, bananas and crisps. I might get mum some sort of veggie thing on the way. <laughs> okay, tack is all dried off. Control head collar in, just in case he gets a bit excited at the venue. Saddle's looking all 
nice and clean and ready to go. Put the numbness back on. There we go. There he is. So in here, we've got my saddle, girth. Um, we've got some Kevin Bacon hoof dressing in a little pot. I've got the crew car rug and some brushing boots just in case he doesn't wear them at the moment but just in case so that'll go in the crew car we've got a little box of treats we've got some hooks to go over the stable for our head collar and stuff there's my um water bottle holder face mask bum bag we've got some hand sanitizer and stuff to go in the bum bag as well then we've got all my heart rate stuff so all the electronic heart rate monitors my stethoscopes got his spare girth no that's his actual girth um, his spare girth over here, his actual girth here, and his bridle. So that is the tack locker ready to go. Then in the back of the lorry we have my mounting step, um, my posh boots for when I want to look a bit fancier and feel good. Um, always have a spare bucket for the crew car for other horses to drink out of because we don't want them to be sharing our buckets. Then we've got all of his feed, there are lots of rugs oh, whacked into the lorry. There's lots of rugs and stuff up there. And obviously there's loads of stuff in my Luton as well. Um, and then all his waters and things. So all of my crew gear, I don't know if you can actually see it, is under the rugs here. And then I've got all my coats and all those bits and bobs that you might need in the back here. So almost finished packing and getting ready. So Rue is in and he is ready for a groom. Thought I'd show you my new favorite grooming kit of all time. And oh, it's not as clean as it should be. It is my summer brush set from Glaze and Gordon. Like, not kidding, I wouldn't say it was amazing if it wasn't amazing. This mud brush, like one sweep and it's gone. So I'm gonna go, The so the, you're meant to go in order. So like one, two, three, four. So I'm going to have number one in one hand, number two in the other, and then I'll do three and four afterwards. So let's get going. Just look how nice they are. On to one and two. Bath soggy pony ready to go on an adventure. <laughs>